Hi there, YouTube land, and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. Um, just a bit of housekeeping before we get going. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Subscribe, uh, click on the, on the channel, the subscribe button, and click the thumbs up button. I really appreciate if you're liking the video. It makes all the difference on how this uh, my channel is shared, and it just improves the, the content that you get. So thank you. The small workshop continues on tour. <laughs> Lots of jobs. There's a mixture of all sorts of jobs, isn't there? There's some in the workshop. There's some out on site. So today I'm on tour. <laughs> you say, where's the audience? They might be up on the scaffolding up there somewhere, <laughs> but probably not. <laughs> right, what are we doing? Well, we're going to make a lovely bin store, a triple bin store. So it's going to go down, uh, go down here. Um, I've got all the material here uh, and so forth. My tools all here. So we are going to get on with doing that. So that's what to look forward to. So let's get on with it. So we have a nice pile of uh, timber there, some two by two and some feather edge. Um, just a pile of wood at the moment. Um, all delivered courtesy of my supplier, Jusons. I'm not sponsored by Jusons, but uh, that's where I get uh, most of my bulk material from. Um, I've actually just bought a couple of uh, new saw horses, so uh, Stanley saw horses. I might do a review of those uh, sometime coming soon. So uh, I've needed, wanted a, a set of these for a while. So some new saw horses that can really take some weight and really look after me out on out on the job. So that's where we are. Um, we are in this space here. So we're going to make a bin store, and that's where we're going to get on with it. So first. Uh, as we get started, we're just going to measure out to start building the actual frame. So uh, it's 2,300 mil, 230 centimeters. So it's going basically the whole length of that, fe that fence panel there um, from there. So we're just going to get cutting and that's where we're going to start. I'd measured it but they say measure twice measure three times and cut once um, so I'm just putting my bin up to make sure it is the right height so it's just going to be slightly sloping from the back uh, because uh, the water then can run off uh, as it comes towards the front so uh, there you go that's perfect <laughs> for a bin <laughs> so I have put the frame together being uh, scratching the old brain cells as you do when you're working something out uh, because it's very bespoke so it's just working out all the spacing uh, and cutting some of the angles so it's a slightly sloping roof just enough to run the rainwater off um, and I was working out the spacings so all the bins and all the various things can actually get in so uh, and then put the doors on the front so we're gonna have a single door single door and a double door these are two big bins so that's a green bin a uh, garden waste bin the black bin um, and that goes for shelving and stuff for the food waste and and glass and all sorts of recycling so that's how that's going to work um, so just been making sure because it's fitting absolutely into this space so making sure everything can fit and uh, yeah happy now <music> Uh, some of the shiplap just getting uh, some cuts some sizes going to fix them on 
and start then the whole thing will start coming together so this is the back and then i can get the back and the back corner and then i can start fixing it in place So again, always start from the bottom because the rain will drop over it. So uh, the rain can't go uphill, it goes downhill. Water, gravity, all of that. Water always follows gravity. So it, as a general rule. Um, I also use my uh, set square. So I just set it at 120, but you set it at the distance you want. Then it just makes it easy just for marking out each so that they go actually the, uh, the spacing between all the feather edge is perfect and uh, that makes it life a lot easier i also just on the edge i drill these ones because there is a high chance of them splitting if you don't drill these ones you don't need to drill the ones in the center because they're in the center of the wood obviously but when they're on an edge uh, it's always wise to pre-drill uh, just do a pilot hole for your screw uh, and then it'll be a much neater job out the spacings for the doors because the lids need to be allowed to lift up so worked out the spacings there we go so when you lift the lid the outside lid you can just get to everything It'll be on props you can get to this will just be a solid top roof whereas these will all be liftable lids frames the doors are braced and now I'm just going to cut in I can't even see where I put my hinge I'm going to cut the hinges in <music> doors essentially hung obviously they've got all the fronts on they're braced they're hung uh did the chopping out with my multi-tool that was easiest in the end uh especially in this heat it is proper hot um and it's a full-on sun trap where i am um working in quite a lot of heat um as you can see so it's down there that is pretty hot, so looking good. Carrying on, it's gonna be a nice piece when it's finished. It's uh, been a week, <laughs> fitting this job in between other jobs and uh or actually all this last week i've actually been uh, on holiday so down in cornwall so it's friday the 22nd so back building the bin store so um just going to show you where i ended up and what i'm where i'm up to at the minute and uh it's, we're getting towards the finishing now really the doors have been built all the frame all, all braced so now i've got to do the uh feather edge on everything and fit them on i'm just going to show you how all the the stays and, and and stuff how they all lift up so 
we're going to continue with that today uh, and that's today's job so we have uh, we fitted the doors we braced them and we've got the little stays so that means when you're putting your stuff your rubbish in what you don't want to be doing is fighting <laughs> with the, and trying to put things in so you lift your lid up you put that in each one individually uh, as you can see just put that up it means you can just put your rubbish in nice and simple put that down and put your lid down i'll display it properly when it's all finished but that's where we're at to today um, that's where we're at and uh, yeah let's carry on <music> the finished bin stores all the handles on the thumb latch um, handles for the lift up lids and I'm just going to show it uh, on around you around so there we have it nice lift up lids one two nice and light and you just put that there and just prop it up put your rubbish in just drop that down and so forth put your rubbish in and there you go a nice functional bin store a bin store that works you're not having to make it's, it's hard work on bin day you just undo the thumb latch pull your bin out and uh, in this side shelf food waste recyclable glass so you just got that there and uh, you've got your black bin in there so shuts up nicely and just put the thumb latches over and it's all shut away very happy so there you have it that's a bin store um, here I am in Dorset, so if you see this video and you're local, maybe you want me to build one. But you could build one just like this, or something similar. Um, not that difficult to build. Uh, a few days work, about three days work um, building this. Uh, it's a fairly substantial bin store, I know, but that's okay, that's good. It's looking good, and that's what it says. No unsightly bins, which is brilliant. Um, so all that's left is uh for me to say is uh if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe click the thumbs up button if you like the video uh really appreciate that love your comments all of that stuff so from me mark at the small workshop adventures take care everybody bye <laughs>